Hi, and welcome to a guide in completing CXE Mathematics SBA. This series would be specifically geared for two sets of students. Those students who are struggling to do their SBAs and those students who intend to improve on their SBAs. Additionally, teachers can use this series to help teach the students how to do their SBAs. Part 1 of this series will focus on the title. Have you ever wondered why you need a mathematics SBA? Most students ask themselves this question. Well, a mathematics SBA is primarily used to see how mathematics is used in everyday life to solve problems. Problems emerge in a variety of disciplines. These disciplines include business, agriculture, sports, engineering, music, and even education. Let us look at two of these disciplines and see some typical types of everyday problems. Let us first look at business. Mathematics can address the problem, which of these commodities should I invest to give me the maximum profits after examining all my constraints? It can also answer the question, what product should I invest in order to minimize my loss? Further, mathematics can also answer the question, what is the maximum profit expected? Can you say which topic in the CXE syllabus address all these problems? If you said linear programming, then you are correct. Now let us look at another discipline. Let us look at engineering. Mathematics can answer the question, how many treaders on a step would I need if I were given the height from the floor to the next platform and the horizontal length? The step. Can you say which topic in the mathematics syllabus address this problem? If you said trigonometry, then again you are correct. So we can therefore see the myriads of problems that can be addressed using mathematics. The SBA starts with the title. The title is the name or the focal point given to the project. This means that the SBA title gives the researcher a directional focus for the project. It also implies that the SBA can be in the form of a statement or it can ask a question. Sometimes the statement and the question can be used interchangeably as the title. For example, you may be investigating the average time spent studying by fifth form students of John Doe High School. And so therefore, your statement would be an investigation into the average time spent studying by fifth form students of John Doe High School. This focal point can also take the form of a question. You can also have the title of this SBA as What is the average time spent studying by fifth form student of John Doe High School? If you look at both the statement and the question, then you would recognize that they have the same focal point. Now let us look at the features of a good title. Some of the features of a good title is that it must reflect what the project is all about. It should be clear and concise. It should generate some interest to the reader and it must be doable. Let us look at some of these features in greater detail. You must always try to keep your title as simple as possible. Avoid unnecessary words. Keep your language as simple as possible 
so that the reader can understand what you are trying to say. Additionally, if there were some technical terms, then these technical terms must be explained. We will discuss this further. And it must be to the point. Now let us look at another feature. It should generate some interest to the reader. Some of the best SBAs are SBAs that appeal to the reader's need, want, or craving. Readers generally like issues concerning money, sports, beauty, and entertainment. So how do you select the title? Well, the title is selected based on the researcher's interest. This means that the researcher should consider what is the question or what are the questions he will like to be answered. This gives the researcher some form of direction in which he would like to go. Another consideration is whether there are research data available or if it can be obtained. Some researchers had already compiled data that may be used. Data that has already been compiled are called secondary data. Or the researcher may want to get the data himself from his research. Data obtained by personal research is called primary data. Sometimes both primary data and secondary data are unavailable. Whenever both primary and secondary data are unavailable, the researcher should stay away from answering these research questions. The next consideration is whether the curriculum caters for addressing the concern. Remember, you must select a topic in your curriculum document or your syllabus that can address the concern. If there is no topic in your syllabus that can address the concern, then you also should stay away from doing such a research. You must ask yourself also if you have sufficient time to complete the research. Some research topics take a longer time than others. I will advise you to try to keep your research within a two-term period. Finally, you must check to see the scope of your SBA. Some researchers may want questions that can be answered only by intense mathematical work that is above the ordinary level. You must try to keep your research within the ordinary level of mathematics. Remember, even having all these considerations, you must ensure that your title selected must have all the features of a good SBA that we have discussed previously. Finally, let us look at honing the title. This is where we come up with a final title. Titles may be adjusted at the very beginning of the project, during the project, and after the project has been completed. During the project, we may discover that research data has been taking us in a particular direction. This direction may not necessarily coincide with the title we had originally, and so therefore we may have to adjust the title. At the end of the project, after all the research data is in, then we may discover that the direction again has changed and therefore our project title may need further adjusting. The adjustment made at the end of the project should be the final adjustment 
for your project title. This is the end of this first video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video where we will be discussing the project purpose. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.